Hi everyone! I'd like to share with you today an art journal that I just started and um, this has been um, so much fun to put this together. I did struggle a little bit um, in the beginning getting started. Um, I think this front cover has probably been just sewed four or five times because I didn't like um, what I did and I would just sew over it and walk away and come back to it. And But um, you know I, I struggle with wanting things perfect and I have to stop and think um, or realize that an art journal isn't about having everything perfect and in line and straight and everything else it's about it's about being creative and and stuff and so I I finally have um, I got I was inspired actually by um, this art journal magazine by Somerset and um, the cover is uh, what I was inspired by and it was this little sign here and the colors and so I decided to go ahead and try um, doing that on my cover and so you can see here um, the sign and um, so this journal will be about my thoughts I want to include some of my um, art I love to draw I love to sketch and doodle and stuff I also I've I have been journaling for uh, many years but not in this way it basically a notebook and I would journal my thoughts or things um, and I like to go back now and years later and read them it's you know it reminds me of all the things that maybe we we're going through or things that happened or special moments or whatever but in this one I'd like to go ahead and include um, some of my art and um, the way I did this cover was um, first of all the the book is one that I put together um, Bona had a tutorial on how um, you can get a watercolor paper pad and cut it in half and then bind it so this is the chipboard from the back cover and I cut it in half and then there's the paper and then I distressed it I used the distress it on then uh, the Adirondack paint dabber and then I painted the edges and then I used my cinch to bind it so anyway for the front cover I used um, basically blue yellow green and white paint um, I went back later and um, added some black but those are the basic colors that I used and then I used um, this stamp um, my thoughts that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and um, I stamped my thoughts there and then I made a color wash and I painted over it and then I got black and painted around it to make it look like a shadow um, and then these numbers here are from Tim Holtz ideology and they are the salvage stickers that I bought in this pack here and um, then I got the same color wash and went over it so they wouldn't be so bright and then um, this picture I hand drew and this is a picture of myself and that's pretty much what I look like right now I guess that's how I'm wearing my hair I think <laughs> and then um, I have highlights and I have um, big green eyes and um, a favorite green t-shirt so that is me right now this is what I look like right now in 2010 so anyway this is um, what I have so far and uh, on the back um, I did the same on the background um, and I did this using black paint and a credit card and then um, my sign for this day was be yourself and I know sometimes we get so caught up in everything and you know we just need a little reminder to be ourselves and so right now I have the four covers um, I mean the two covers and the insides of the covers done so I'll go ahead and share those with you and then on this one here, this is a, um, I believe it's a Kane Company uh, frame that came in like in a little ephemera pack or something like that. And um, I glued it down and then I went ahead and I gessoed over most of it. I left a little of the color peeking through as you can see. I used some little Stampin' Up stamps and these are old, they're retired. Um, and I used um, some brown ink and stamped those on there. And I know. Um, Paula talks about um, layering so that's what I was trying to do 
and I don't have a lot of layers I mean I'm like I said I'm just learning but um, it sure has been a lot of fun see I have a stamp here and then my sign for that day was faith I have to remind myself or you know just how important my faith is and you know sometimes that's what that's all we need is just um, whatever is on our mind and my faith is what I was thinking about that day. I, I plan to go back and do journaling here. And um, so that's what I want to do in this in this journal album. And then here, let's see. This is the inside of my cover. And I used some different colors here. I used pink and orange um, as my main colors. And then um, sort of the same ideas, and maybe I'll, you know, as as I do more of it, I'll be able to, you know, learn some new techniques and stuff. So basically, these are all pretty much the same, you know. What I did here is I used the Tim Holtz um, script stamp, and I stamped it um, four or five times here using some brown ink, and then I've got some little um, stamping up little polka dots here. And then um, these are some Stampin' Up! flowers that I stamped. A couple of them just sewed over, and then I did another one on top. And then here is a floral stamp, and then I just sewed over it. And then here um, is a little, like a postage stamp, but I just used the little lines um, and did them across here. And there's that little um, polka dot stamp. And then my thought for the day was find joy in the little things. It's so easy to get caught up in everything and forget the simple things or um, that are important in our lives. And so my sign for that day was find joy in the little things. So anyway, I did um, one page. I've done one page. And um, this is it. And on camera it seems a little busy, but... Um, my thought for the day was relax. You know, I have to remind myself to take time and relax and um, just enjoy the peace and the quiet, you know. And when I think of peace or, you know, the relaxation, I think of um, lavender. I love, um, not so much, I, I don't have purple, I don't use a lot of purple, but the scent of lavender just is just so relaxing. Um, to spray some lavender on your pillow and you know just lay down and just close your eyes for a few minutes and so what I that's what I was thinking when I did this page and I used some glimmer mist and I used um, uh, this right here is the t from the Tim Holtz lost and found and it's a definition but I don't really know what it is it was just another layer that I just sewed over and then this is how um, I decided to paint my lavender. We have some lavender out in the yard and so this is what the lavender looks like to me. It's got the long stalks and then it's got the little flowers. So that is my relaxation page. And that's all I have so far um, in my art journal. It's been um, so much fun. It's actually relaxing. Where when I first started, it was a little stressful because, like I said, I didn't like what I was doing or how it was turning out. But um, I've gotten this far. I've done five pages so far, and and this has really been so much fun. I can see why everyone gets so excited about it. But anyway, um, maybe I'll share some more pages with you. Um, so anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed my little art journal. Um, please leave a comment. And um, thank you everyone for watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you.